The title of the film Copper Code uh, is connected with uh, Copper's compositional method of coding. It's how it's his own compositional method he invented actually, and it refers also to the situation of us creators of the film, filmmakers, because we are trying to code legacy of this past away a propaganda composer from contemporary perspective. What does it mean actually to find such a unique legacy, Jan Kappers archive, which we had unique possibility to work with. And this archive consists of uh, his film materials because he was amateur filmmaker and I think excellent amateur filmmaker. So we had something like eight hours of his very funny uh, archive uh, footage or like family family footage then we had a lot of his letters like personal love letters but also for example letters to Czechoslovak president and uh, we have of course a lot of uh, scores and his personal notes etc so we are trying to understand what does it mean to interpret from point of view of like nowadays perspective this kind of legacy it's a documentary opera it's a kind of specific genre we actually invented for this film it means that we actually dig from the archives uh, the story of Jan Kapper and uh, we wanted to uh, find a really precise shape for this storytelling because this kind of story is uh, something like from a screenwriting manual. It's like from a fiction film. It's really very strong, fatal story. And uh, ordinary documentary, conventional storytelling, uh, I think would not allow us to transfer uh, very strong uh, potential, which I saw in the story. So uh, we wanted to find the adequate form how to communicate not only through words but to create a specific experience of universe of Fian Kapper in which we would like to invite you as viewers. So that's why the music plays essential role in this narrative arc, in this storytelling. And we uh, wrote libretto based on the archives, on these letters I meant and other archive materials. We really recreate his story and then we invited great uh, choir, uh, Český Filharmonický Zbor Brno, uh, from, from Brno uh, and uh, we composed our own music based on this libretto and archives to tell a story of Jan Kapper and because the film is the medium in which you can somehow contact several layers like uh, uh, through one time, several times can, can somehow meet in this uh, medium. Uh, so it was possible that these layers could meet in, in, this, in this material, in this film. So we could create the story of past await composer from contemporary perspective because Jan Kapper is composer of his own life story and we are composers of this documentary opera in which these layers could somehow meet. So to speak about the music through words, I think it's not the adequate kind of form. And uh, Jan Kapper was experimental composer as well, because when I spoke about this transformation to avant-garde, he experimented a lot with words, sounds, etc. So we also wanted to find a specific distinguished language in which we could like, somehow transfer this, this playful, experimental quality to, to this film. Jan Kapper is author who was actually deleted from official memory during communism and not uh, so many people know about him. Uh, and it was by chance actually when I met a, a friend who was uh, part of this family and she told me about this archive. And the family wanted me to digitalize the 8mm film materials. So I saw first time these materials and the first shots I saw was like Jan Kapper lying on the grass and eating dandelions and other flowers. And I was totally fascinated. What, what does it mean actually? What kind of message is that? Because he's such kind of big, let's say, political animal and important ambiguous figure at one side, but on the other side, 
It's this man which, who was very funny and who created, I don't know why, such kind of images. So we wanted really to understand what's going on here and what kind of story it's behind this, this figure. And for me it's important that this, this film address uh, the topic of what does it mean actually to make a documentary portrait of somebody or to interpret someone's life. Who are we to interpret somebody who is passed away? So I wanted somehow to invite Jan Kapper, who, who passed away in 1988, to be co-author of this film, to recreate this story with us through, through the legacy he left behind. You will see like 90 minutes of movie where the main narrative is uh, sung by excellent singers and the film which has like instead of a screen, screenplay notes, score partitude. So this kind of experience of Capra's universe, I think make and hope make this film special because it, it's communicate the way that can preserve the deaf people after they death somehow. Because for me, this story is about, also about the desire to imprint somehow your trace into eternity, what Jan Kapper actually wanted to, 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 to show. You will see actually the story which is created only from the traces Jan Kapper left behind. And for example, we had only four minutes of his face actually. So I wanted to invite you in the situation where we filmmakers were really like uh, archaeologists, trying to understand what is important, essential and what is worth to, to tell in this story. And we wanted also to admit what we do not know, the holes, the blind spots in the memory. So enjoy this, this uh, attempt to make some kind of maybe complex adventure. <laughs>